Number one, lift weights and target your shoulders, back, and chest to give you good posture and give you that aesthetic V-shape. Number two, don't supplicate, aka people please. Nobody likes a people pleaser. It shows that you lack a personality of your own, and it comes off as inauthentic. Nobody likes people who are inauthentic or fake. Number three, cut out sugar and processed foods. Eating this bullshit is bad for your skin, bad for your teeth, and will also make you feel overall like shit. Eating like garbage is a surefire way to make sure you look and feel like garbage. So cut that shit out, bro. Number four, wear slim fit clothing that gives your body that nice V-shaped silhouette. If you're wearing slim fit clothing that hugs your upper body and tapers down your legs, it's going to give you that aesthetic V-shape I was talking to you about before. And this shape is perceived as naturally attractive to the human eye and will make girls check you out way more. Number five, stop worrying about impressing other people. Yeah, you heard me. Stop worrying about what other people think. That's some pussy shit right there. Gods like me don't sit around worrying about what other people think about me. I just go ahead, do my business, live in my life, doing what I want to do. And if somebody doesn't like it, well, oops, sorry, I forgot to give a fuck. Number six, fuck being politically correct. First of all, when the fuck is politics correct about anything? Never. With all the social justice warriors on the loose, it's becoming more and more common nowadays to pussyfoot around and do your best not to say anything that might offend anybody. Well, guess what? Fuck that. If you refuse to ever speak your mind or say what you really feel, then nobody's going to take you seriously, and you won't be worth listening to anyway because you'll just be another person who lacks a strong personality. Don't be afraid to say how you feel and don't waste so much time trying to avoid offending people. Now, there's a caveat to this, okay? This is a little disclaimer. It doesn't mean go out of your way to be a rude asshole to people. You obviously shouldn't hurt people's feelings on purpose, but don't worry yourself to death about offending the guy you walk past at a whole food store in the juice aisle. Number seven, sleep at least seven hours per night, no exceptions. Yeah, you heard me. I said no exceptions, unless you want to walk around looking like this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Number eight, exercise for at least 20 minutes a day. Incorporating movement into your days will give you more energy and make you feel more alive, which will make you more energetic and enthusiastic to be around, aka more attractive to the ladies. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can do simple shit like playing basketball with a friend, throwing around a football, playing mini golf, shit like that. Number nine, hang out with more girls. Humans are social creatures. So if a hot girl sees you hanging out with other hot girls, then she's going to immediately assume that you're more attractive because, hey, if other girls are hanging out with you, then you must have some traits that are desirable, right? Number 10. Use a teeth whitener to make your teeth more white and have that sparkling smile. A key attribute of super attractive people is having super white teeth. Having white ass teeth alone can boost you up by three points on the attractiveness scale. Everyone wants whiter teeth and our sponsor Ollie is the simplest solution to a year-round white smile all day every day. You see, Ollie teeth whitening strips are perfect if you're someone who has sensitive teeth. They're super easy to use, very affordable, and they're extremely effective at removing years of stains to make your teeth look white as fuck. And they're not like those other teeth whitening products with all that gooey sticky shit that gets everywhere. These are simple as fuck to use and leave no mess. All you do is pop them in for about 30 minutes, then take them out and boom, you got white teeth. You can leave them in when you get dressed in the morning or when you're driving to work. You know, a lot of options here. Click my special link in the description box and use my awesome discount code ZEUS. I recommend the annual subscription that averages less than $7 a month when you use the code ZEUS. So seriously, don't miss out on this. 11. Sit up straight and tall with your chest out and your shoulders back. Not only is this posture really good for your back, it will also subconsciously make you feel better and more confident about yourself, which will make more people perceive you as more attractive. Number 12. Smile. It's scientifically proven to make you look way more attractive. See, I told you, you can start doing this stuff literally right now. Number 13. Spray a fragrance on your neck and shoulders. Wearing a dope-ass fragrance will make you smell sexy as fuck and make you 10 times more attractive. When you spray it on your neck and shoulders, it'll make whatever fragrance you're wearing project in the air around you and make girls 10 times more attracted to you. Number 14. Approach girls and approach them regularly. All the attractive physical stuff in the world won't do you any good if you don't have the balls to go up and approach the girls you want to talk to. And the more girls you approach, the better your game will become, and the more attractive girls will see you as. Number 15. Be excellent at a certain skill or skills. When you're really good at something and it's something you like, 
You'll be way more attractive because you'll be more interesting as a person as opposed to a handsome dude who's stupid and doesn't have anything going for him other than his looks. I mean, look at Keanu Reeves. He's excellent at shooting people in the head and avenging dogs. Girls think that shit is hot. Guys even think it's hot. And let's face it, nobody does it better than Keanu, you know what I'm saying? It's because he's good at what he does. Number 16. Vocal Tonality most people, when they're talking to strangers, they speak in a seeking rapport tonality, meaning that they pitch their voice up at the end of a sentence as if they're asking a question. See what I mean? This is bad to do around girls because it gives off the vibe that they're in control of the interaction, and you're seeking to get their approval when in reality, you should be screening the girl and making her gain your approval. Number 17. Watch Based Zeus Videos Hey, I'm the most attractive motherfucker in the universe, okay? I mean, just look at me. I'm a god. Watch enough of me, and you'll be well on your way to being the most attractive, badass version of yourself possible. Hey, I know what I'm talking about, bro. I mean, you don't see me moping around spanking Hank all the time, do you? Hey, hey, you and I, we got shit going on. So that's it. I'll leave a summary on the screen now. You know, I've been focused on mostly dating videos lately, so I wanted to break it up and do something that was a little bit easier for you guys to digest and implement right away, because although the dating knowledge is important, it's useless if you look and feel like shit on the inside and the outside. So to make sure you're looking good on the outside, don't forget to check out our sponsor Ollie and get yourself some white-ass sparkling teeth. Don't miss out on the easy attractiveness boost and start using the best teeth whitening from our sponsor Ollie. Hey, I went skiing with this guy. He smiled, disappeared. Nobody could find him. That's some fucking white teeth right there, bro, and they can be yours too. Go visit our sponsor Ollie. Use the link Zeus. And don't forget to report back. I want to hear about your exploits. Zeus out. Thank <laughs> you.